What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we are getting into another video on the Galaxy S20 Ultra, specifically taking a very close look at the camera on this guy. And this is a new face you haven't seen before. This is Clayton. Clayton, tell the people what you do. Yeah, so uh, I'm a professional photographer here in the Phoenix area. Uh, I do a lot of different types of stuff, um, which kind of worked out for what we were doing today, so. Yeah, so I actually found Clayton on Craigslist. I just searched photographers, professional photographers on Craigslist. I took a look at his stuff. It's all pretty amazing. I will link his website and his Instagram in the description for you so you can go ahead and, and follow him there. He does some pretty cool work. But I hit him up, I was like, hey, uh, you wanna maybe give uh, the people out there a review on the camera with the S20 Ultra and maybe compare it to your, uh, your professional setup, the thing that you use on the daily to make a living, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. He was totally down for it. So here we are. This is the first time we, we met today for the first time. Literally found this guy on Craigslist and we're gonna go out and about and see how this camera stacks up against a professional setup. So let's get started. Let's, yeah, let's check out this thing. I kind of want to walk in the park here, see what's going on. Center up as best as I can here. That looks pretty good there. Pretty comparable photos. Actually, I'm gonna get this do not enter sign in there. There we go. This is works. This is nice. So this is pro mode. I'm gonna go as wide as I can. Got this cool barber sign. Looks old school sign spinning. Let's open up to a 5.6. I'm gonna bring down my ISO actually just a little bit. Two and a half times zoom, so pretty much comparable to the 75 millimeter length. Full auto. Man, this car's right in the way. I'm gonna move a little bit. And the colors just really pop. You can see it on this. All right, so we just got back. We got all the photos loaded up and sorted out on the computer here to take a look at. But basically, if you couldn't catch that from the B-roll, he is using a Sony a7 III, and we are comparing that to the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now, we set a few categories that were predetermined before we shot all these photos here, before he shot them all. And the first one that we are taking a look at is Pro Mode. So we have Pro Mode on the Galaxy S20 Ultra, and we are comparing it to full-on manual mode on his Sony a7 III. So I'm gonna let him take the wheel and kind of critique his own work and compare it against the shots on this smartphone. So yeah, I mean the smartphone takes, I mean straight eye camera just, it takes really good pictures. Um, compared to the one I took, I mean, I wish I would have maybe exposed a little higher for my photo, but um, we're gonna look at maybe sharpness here. It looks like man, the Samsung did a little bit better for sharpness and there you can see in the center of the circle those those strings, those lines, just they come out a little bit more. And the thing is too, you gotta keep in mind guys, is like a lot of processing is being done. Even in pro mode on the Samsung, uh, on the Galaxy S20 Ultra, even if you're in pro mode, you're still getting a lot of post sharpening happening here. Whereas like if we're doing it on like just the a7 III, a lot of that you can go, you have to go in and add that sharpness too, which is an interesting thing to consider here. But we do have another, a very nice photo that he took. I, I just like the, the composition here. So let's talk about this one a little bit. I like this one a lot too. I, you know, as far as sharpness goes, they, they are both pretty clear. They both look really good. Like again, the Samsung's doing a lot more processing, so it's got a little bit of color, but you know, in post, you're gonna be able to push the Sony to, you know, to his limits to whatever it can really go to. But man, these are pretty, they're pretty identical. If you if you ask me to compare the two and not knowing what they came from, I don't know if I could tell you the difference, honestly. And a good point about that too is, uh, and I think it's in this next photo here where we can kind of see the dynamic range between what we got off the S20 Ultra versus what came out of the a7 III, right? I mean, mm -hmm. that's a pretty good shot to demonstrate that. It is, it is, yeah. I, I just, I'm just so shocked at just the color that comes out of the Samsung. It's really incredible. Um, I use a picture profile when I shoot, so I do add a little bit of color in mine. Um, but I mean, just, just, I mean, just looking at that, you could, it's, this is, this one's a little more flat, the Sony picture, but you know, in post you could change that. But straight at a camera, if you're just looking to shoot and get it done and not have to put it into to editing and process all that, I mean, that is a, that's a good photo. This shot is pretty cool though too, right here. Again, like if you told me to compare these two, it would be so hard to tell which one's which. I, you know, I might have to give the sharpness to the Samsung in this one as well. Just, I mean, those letters come out so clear and crisp. 
All right, so next up, after pro mode, we decided to go full blast on the S20 Ultra, do 108 megapixel photos in auto mode because you cannot shoot 108 megapixels in pro mode. So we decided to go auto mode on both cameras and do what, what needed to be done basically to, to kind of match that up. So uh, we want to get the best quality out of auto mode on the S20 Ultra, best quality out of auto mode on the a7 III. And I, this is what we have here. So this is an auto mode shot. Um, like you can see here on, on the right, we do have the S20 Ultra. Oh, how do you compare these two? Um, so yeah, I first I would never usually shoot in auto on my camera, so this was almost a little new for me as well. Right. Yeah, but, <laughs> like uh, what professional shoots in auto mode? Exactly, that's why you <laughs> buy the cameras to put in manual and all that. But yeah, so it looks like honestly, I think you got we got a little bit more crispness, I think, in the lettering here uh, on the Sony one. That's funny too, because we have a higher megapixel count on the Samsung, but the, the photos from the from the A7 III are a lot more crisp. All right, so next up we have, uh, I guess this is kind of like a ghetto fabulous Hollywood Walk of Fame that they have in downtown Phoenix. I honestly, I, I've lived here uh, my entire life. I was born here and I, I don't even know what this is, but nonetheless, tell me your thoughts on these two. Yeah, the Samsung uh, definitely brought out the color in that gold star a little bit more. Right out of camera, again, you can put you put it into post the Sony picture and push that. But let's look at kind of the lettering here because that's pretty important. So we lose a little bit here in the Sony. Um, if you get if you get pretty close there, you're losing a little bit. Let me check over here with. Oh man, um, I they they did about the same as far as crispness of the letters and just kind of what it got here. I mean the colors are different, but you can you can always fix that. So man, this one it's pretty they're they're pretty similar. A lot of people out there will assume more megapixels equals better photo, right? And that's not always the case. I, I mean sensor size is a lot to play into that. Uh, we, we have obviously there's a full frame sensor on on the A7 III versus the tiny little one that fits inside of the back of the camera module here. Just a tiny little sensor. So next up, we are taking advantage of the optical zoom on the Galaxy S20 Ultra, and we are actually matching it to his lens. So go go for it right here. Um, so yeah, this is uh, Sony zoomed in pretty close. Uh, I mean, if, is, I mean, Dude, that's, that was good. it's pretty sharp. I mean, that <laughs> looks really good. Yeah, this one was impressive. Even if you get pretty close in there, I mean, you're not losing too much there. Um, and let's see here with the Samsung. Um, it doesn't even it do, yeah. doesn't even measure. It up. doesn't even measure. I up, could just see that right there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, this one is the, the Sony kind of blew this one out of the water on that yeah. one, which is a little surprising. It's been doing really well. I mean, even with the those bars there, that fence. Yeah. I mean, you lose a lot. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, just the detail here is it's pretty crazy. Like you can just see the little yeah. the little freckles on the wall, basically, like the, the texture of the wall, and that's completely gone. This almost looks like a drawing and not photo. even a photo. But like it's... back here, it looks sharp. Like when you- Yeah. Right? It looks yeah. good right there. And and to be honest, back here, they look pretty much the same. Yeah, if you, when you zoom out like that, you're hardly noticing yeah. a difference. But I mean, when you're doing something professionally, if you're trying to get that professional style, people are gonna look at that and they're gonna know. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so moving on here, we have, uh, you took a photo of uh, Washington Street. This is downtown Phoenix, by the way, in case you guys were, were not familiar with that. So go and do what you do. Yeah, so this one, I'm gonna focus on the lettering again, because that's kind of what we focused on here. Colors, again, obviously better straight through from the Samsung. So you, these are, this is, it's pretty good. Uh, I mean, that's pretty sharp right there. If you get closer in, you're losing a little bit, but that's pretty sharp right there. That's yeah, it looked good. That's pretty nice. Let's look at this one here. Oh, wow. Um, this one is good too. I, oh, wow. wow. When you Whoa. get in close, yeah, there's <laughs> almost, let's see. Uh, that's ridiculously sharp. So let's go. That does no way. I mean, yeah. There's... Game over right there. <laughs> way. I mean, push out, great. That's fine. There's almost, you're not noticing too much, but. Yeah. And keep in mind that these these uh, these zoom photos they are at um, at 12 megapixels. That's that's impressive though. I mean, it, okay, let's let's put it let's be real here though. It is impressive how well the S20 Ultra has been holding up. But I think the the takeaway here is don't expect that this camera is going to be like it's not going to be like the the hero of the day. It's not going to be the clear winner in every situation. 
It's impressive as hell for a smartphone though. Super impressive. All right, so finally, we have a 12 megapixel raw shot right out of the Galaxy S20 Ultra. And I wanted him to shoot like a, a raw photos just so he could throw it in Lightroom and kind of do what he does with, uh, with the stuff that he gets paid to do, basically. Edit the photo, see how far we can push this raw photo in comparison to what he's used to. So we're up in Lightroom, take it away, uh, do what you gotta do with this thing. Perfect, all right, so yeah. Um, just by looking at this right now, you can tell there's some really dark shadows in there, and even that building, is it's got a lot of light on it. So there's a lot of contrast here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mess with these shadows here, see what I can pull out. I mean, and you can already tell it's pulling out quite a bit. You know, if you push it too far, I know you're gonna get noise. Let's see how much we're actually gonna get here. I mean, noisy. It's, it's, yeah, it's pretty noisy. noisy yeah. I mean, you can mess with the noise reduction tool here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's really doing anything. I, I <laughs> literally zero difference. I mean. Yeah, what is up with that? Like, it literally does nothing. Wow. It, there's not, not even, nothing. Um, let's try, I'm gonna bump up the saturation here and try to pop those colors a little bit more as well. So you can see the red and the blue, they're, yeah. they're popping out pretty well. Let's see how well they handled the noise though. That obviously in the shadows did Oh, you can see all the noise and uh, uh, like when, as you were coming up there, it was really noisy. Yeah, you can really, I mean, the colors here though, I mean, they did fantastic here in the light. Yeah. And the sh I think it's just the shadows, it's not handling very well. Yeah. Um, and you can go, you can fine tune all this, all this stuff. You can, you know, mess with every single color and you can mess with every little thing, but. I mean, you could literally spend hours messing with this. Just one photo, spend hours doing that. But uh, I think that it's, okay, obviously, this is not going to compare to, to a camera. Spoiler alert, late spoiler alert. You're not gonna compare a smartphone to a professional camera and it, and it hold up in every aspect of things. Sure, this had its, its wins here and there for just being like straight up, let's take it out, take a photo and, and get on with the day, right? Yeah. But like, I mean, what do you think about, about this, this camera right here uh, just coming from, from your perspective? I mean, it, it, it held its own today, like really well. Um, as just a, a normal user, you're taking your phone out, you're taking them for Instagram, you're making your social media look good for your website, whatever. It, it, it does really well straight out of camera. Um, if you're doing something professionally though, I mean, you could tell, I mean, just, you know, the sharpness, um, the, the, the manual stuff you can do with, uh, with, with a camera, not just Sony, you can use, you know, Canon, Nikon, whatever you have. Professionally, I obviously would go with the camera, but I mean, Samsung, I mean, it's colors. I mean, the, the, the fact that it can do 108 megapixels is just yeah. insane. And I, and I know the, the optical zoom 100 times, it gets a little fuzzy, <laughs> but yeah. just that feature. I would say though, I, I, like I've cautioned before, don't always fall for the marketing, right? 108 megapixels doesn't mean you're gonna get the best photos around there. The number is irrelevant because as you saw here, some of the photos that we took that are, are much lower than that, uh, uh, a little more than a, a quarter lower than, than the, the resolution on here from the Sony a7 III, they look sharper. Even though we have less megapixels, we have a sharper photo. Yep. And obviously we're comparing a full frame camera to uh, a tiny little sensor here. So keep that in mind. More megapixels don't, e don't equal better. Uh, 100 times zoom, as you saw in the video that I've linked below in the description, it's not the greatest feature in the world, in my opinion. Um, but I don't know, I, we wanna know, what, what do you think about all these photos? I will leave galleries to everything that we shot, or that he shot, I should say, in the description below. So be sure to check out those links if you wanna see the full resolution versions of any of these shots here. And go check out Clayton, check out his social media, his website, it will be linked in the description for you as well. Leave the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the future. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the Galaxy S20 Ultra though, but stay tuned for my long-term review and uh, we'll, we'll talk about this a little more because I do have some other opinions. So thank you so much for watching everyone. Really do appreciate it. This is Dom, this is Clayton, and I'll catch you later.